Just to answer a question about like why not run like Guardian Kings, because the aggro decks right now aren't exactly like phase decks. Secret Pound's probably the most popular aggro deck, and it's like a board control deck. So it is one dimensional in the sense that it just aims to hit phase. Not really hit phase, but it's it doesn't have a lot of I don't know, I mean like late game or situational cards. Like no reactive cards, just purely proactive beatdown cards, I guess is what I mean by one dimensional. But Guardian of Kings is not very good. Like it's really bad against Secret Paladin because you never win that matchup by out healing them. You win it by winning board control. Just like our, just like Healbot is not good right now in mid range Palm because of the same reason. It's not just Healbot is good against Aggro. It's just it's there's different kinds of Aggro decks. It's really good against face decks. I have a really good hand. Put this apple on your head. Uh oh, might lose to the my fumbler. For For justice, follow the rule. I think I'm probably okay now. I was really scared to play Feral Spirits turn three after the juggler. Probably would have just been dead with this hand. I didn't really see a good answer to knife juggler with the Feral Spirits after. Fairly tempting I, to play True Silver here. I get a free kill and slime. I think I can free kill and slime next turn. I'm really weak to Fire Elemental. I'll play this time. Let's see. I trade both in. He Fire Elementals. If I played Just Car, I could have played Corn Master on turn 7 with two guys, but if this survives, I get. The same core master, anyways, because I get to make extra guy, so it doesn't change the core master play in turn seven. If my one one survives, my one one is, it will survive if he plays Fire Elemental, which is the strongest move this turn. If he plays Lightning Storm this turn, I'm not that scared because Lightning Storm is the only way he kills on one. And uh, if he plays Lightning Storm, he's overloaded. Not, I don't think he'll do much other than Lightning Storm, and I can just play Jessica after Lightning Storm. <laughs> Let's get this quartermaster going. So hard for Shaman to come back. Because even Lightning Storm relies on RNG here, and it doesn't kill the quartermaster. And then, if I'm playing from ahead, it's super easy to not play around Lightning Storm just by being, you know, slightly ahead, constantly trade my board advantageously and play more minions. Feels like it's his deck super board oriented. I'm not feeling a lot of burn from his deck. If he's running like Creeper and Sludge Belcher and stuff like that. Really board control oriented. Oh, if he plays Fire Elemental, I might actually use my quality over anything else. deal with knife juggler ACP. So if so I kill his taunts and I, I can kill his knife juggler with uh, the weapon hopefully. My shield for Argon uh, 
Might just land hands. For justice. Reporting for duty. I'm just killing a totem because it makes it so much easier for me for these things to do stuff. I guess I might have wanted to save the weapon because with the Quality Juggler I can maybe clear this board and I could have saved the weapon. If I don't get the Consecrate I'm going to have to rely on this Equality Juggler play. I can make quite a bit of dudes. Equality Juggler and then I have six more mana. Make a dude. Oh, that worked out good. I could have buffed my last guy. It's just no room. I couldn't have done it first. I needed the stuff to trade off. And then if, it, if I was trading off the dude, it didn't even make any sense to buff it up again, so. Because I'm not getting the power. I think it was important to play Belcher that last turn because of Alec here, but... I roll through and everything? I think that was everything because even the Shredder died and then all my Quartermaster guys died. This took three, this took three I think. You win this one. 